Hey guys, welcome back to Cast World. In light of Chinese New Year coming, today we'll be reviewing snacks from China. Okay, so I went to the store called Mix and I saw so many amazing stuff. I just had to grab some. And over here, you can see I have a haul all of these Chinese beauty snacks, drinks. There's literally a lot of stuff we're gonna try. So are you a fan of Chinese snacks? Hmm. I'm not sure actually, maybe this might change my mind. I mean, we've always eaten stuff from Japan, like Pocky, and also maybe from Taiwan biscuits, but not really Chinese snacks. This will be our first time, so without further ado, let's begin our haul. First thing first, we're going to try are these cucumber chips from Lay's. <laughs> I don't know how do, how do you transfer <laughs> cucumber to chips. There's so many interesting flavors from China I've never heard or seen before. Let's see. The little granules all over it. Let me have more. It's actually pretty nice. Wow! Right? It's really good. It's really nice actually. I can really taste the feeling of cucumber. It's like a vegetable, chips. Well, potato is a vegetable anyway. It has a tinge of sweetness, but it's not too strong. I would eat this actually. Mm. It's really refreshing. Wow, so good. But I usually hate cucumber, but I think with this, I would eat it. <laughs> really tasty. Mm. The packaging is all in Chinese. Literally, I cannot read a single thing. If you guys can read, you can let me know <laughs> below. Sad part is we both don't know Mandarin. <laughs> Growing up, I guess we uh, missed that out. So on this packaging, we have the next one. Ta -da -da. Chinese pork rib chips. You think, you think it'll be spicy? Mm, when you see a red package, right, you just kind of associate it to be spicy. So maybe it might be. <laughs> Oh, it smells really good. Oh, wow, it really smells like pork ribs. <laughs> Even the color is so rich and dark. It's like sweet potato chips, actually. Let's see. It's really tasty, guys. It's kind of like the char siu flavor. <laughs> I'm thinking like five spice, a bit of cinnamon, really crispy chip, so crispy and flaky. Honestly, I rarely try chips from China. Yeah. Mm. We always try like, you know, Lay's and Ruffles from America, but wow. You can totally have this for Chinese New Year. I think this would be a really delicious snack. One of the selling point here, if you can see, it says zero gram trans fat. <laughs> so if you're conscious about, you know, all these kind of ingredients, then you know, this is a good one. That's all you care about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll go for cucumber. Ta -da -da, the winner. Yeah, how about you? I think I'll go for this too. This right. is really different, really special. I've mm. never tried this in my life. Okay, I picked up this little packet. It's something interesting. Can you see what's this? A squid. So this is spicy, one portion of big ear squid. You can see just how big the head is. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's a spicy flavor. So I'm not sure there's so many things in this Chinese swap. Oh wow, it's like shredded piece of squid. You guys can see. It smells really fragrant. Have a go at it. Mm. Wow. I like the chewiness. It's really chewy squid. Mm. It's spicy. There's a undertone of maybe mala, I think. Is it? I, I really think there's like mala or something inside. Like those Chinese spices or pepper. It's spicy. So imagine like um, preserved squid pieces chunked up and chopped in here. I was expecting the squid to be in like a full piece. So it's quite surprising they are chopped up. Looks like that. Can you guys see? Chopped up squid inside here, coated with chili sauce. I think this would be a very good snack. Hmm. If you're hungry. I think if you're on the go and you need like something really quick and you're hungry, this is quite this is good. <laughs> What's your spicy tolerance though? Not really good. <laughs> so this is eatable. For me, this is tolerable. Next up I have this really cute packaging. Do you see this is a little piece of tofu? And I think it's also spicy flavor. Check it out. Oh, that's cute. It's a fish flavor, I'm guessing. It's all in Mandarin. This guy is doing the heart sign. So I should do it too. And I like how they have all this single packaging in China. Mm. Literally, it's one, one serving. You can eat it instantly. But I'm happy. It's a whole piece of tofu in here. Oh. Oh. Wow, it's a soft tofu. Okay, there's no smell. <laughs> I think it's like a fish cake. Yeah. A fish fish cake with spice, mm. sensing a lot of pepper, a lot of uh, maybe peppercorn. It's literally like any fish cake that you have, except that it's really soft, really chewy. If I were to compare this with the squid one just now, 
I think in terms of taste, this is much milder. Yeah. The other the squid was really like a kick in the face, <laughs> right? Because you know how seafoody it tastes mm. like. Okay, drink time. I have here an interesting, really super Chinese uh, flavor. This is a cute box of red dates. Look mm. how petite that is. And you know how Chinese people love their red dates. Well, red dates are normally in Chinese soups, herbal soup. So, wonder how that's gonna be. Is it gonna be like the Korean jujube? Mmm, it's like a milky red dates drink. You can taste the milkiness, creaminess, right? Oh, they're so good. Mm. It's really, really good, guys. It's literally mm. like you blend the red dates with milk and it's so fragrant. It's very flowery, mm. very floral, fruity. And you yeah. know, red dates has that traditional flavor. So let's see how it looks like on the inside. Is it going to be red? Oh, wow. Look at the color. Beige tone. Like a cream? It looks like cultured milk kind of colour, I Yeah, guess. I was expecting it to be red, like just like the packaging, but <laughs> <laughs> that'd be quite scary if I'm drinking something absolutely red. This is yeah. a beige colour. Well, I won't eat red dates every day like a snack, right? You know, it's not like it's available in all your food all the time. I think if you like are craving red dates, right, you can go for this. So we have another drink here. It's blueberry yogurt. And again, it's all in Mandarin. Um, can't read the thing. There's only one word here that says blueberry flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's the selling point. But the packaging is so cute and uh, artsy. Look how fun it is. Definitely will attract the kids. And I also think it's a bit of a milk yogurty flavor. Hence, it's gonna be quite nutritious. So the blueberry drink that we have in Malaysia that's quite popular is Rabina. So, but Rabina doesn't have that milky creaminess. Oh, that's black currant though. Oh right, oops. <laughs> but even then, it's not creamy at all. It's not at all. So this is rare moment I see blueberry milk drink. Oh, so childhood reminiscent. Right? Wow. It tastes exactly like uh, what you have last time for Vitagen. Yeah, 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 yeah. It tastes like Sustagen, Vitagen. Whichever you call it. <laughs> not Sustagen, that's a different drink. Oh, <laughs> Yaku. Mm, yes, yes, Blueberry yes. Blueberry Yakult, maybe? It's really, really um, fruity. So strong. Mm. Okay, it's not very sweet. So that's the best part. Would you rather drink this over Vitagen? Yes. Vitagen is a little bit too sweet for me. And it mm. is, it's also very sour. This is not sour at all. And uh, it's very easy to drink. Yeah. Oh, it's white. Oh, yeah. Check it out. I thought it was going to be purple. Same. <laughs> like, whenever we drink a blueberry or a currant drink, uh, it's going to be purple. But no, in here it's white. Mm. Ta-da! Another packet thing. I'm really obsessed with all these individual packets. This is kelp, which is seaweed, but it's duck flavored. What? Huh? Imagine like seaweed flavored with duck. You can trust the Chinese to make all this kind of stuff. And the lady is wearing it like some kind of hairdo <laughs> with the band. Okay, seaweed, yay or nay? I like seaweed. Yeah. I like the crispy one and the Japanese wakame one. Oh yes, that's so good. Olive green. A little fragments of the sea. Do you see that? There's some little chili pieces on it too. Wow. Mm. Okay, it's a little bit slimy because as we all know, kelp has that consistency, squeegee texture. But I do not taste any duck on it at all. Maybe I misread the packaging, but it definitely has that uh, peppercorn taste to it again, like how they do for all of the Chinese food. Mm. So basically it's like peppercorn seaweed. The seaweed is fully coated with uh, the chili oil. I kind of feel like I don't know what to think of or feel about this. It's like... You're just eating spicy slime, right? <laughs> yeah, like the texture of it is like... I don't know, how would you describe this texture? Like, I've never tried something like this before. So the next item we have is a ch salted cheese cracker. Mm, it looks like a Jacob biscuit. <laughs> so I think the packaging looks very Japanese. Yeah, I mean, there's some random Japanese words here. So sure, okay, let's open it and see what's inside. Nicely individually packed, very hygienic. So this is how it looks like. And at the back here, it says Tokyo Love. So it's interesting because this is a Chinese company that makes Japanese inspired cheese biscuits or cheese crackers. Hence it looks Japanese but actually it's all in Mandarin. You can see the description is all in Mandarin. But I'm really curious, what exactly is Japanese cheese biscuit? 
There's actually three biscuits in here. Oh, I can't wait to try one. So, like that, three. Will this be like any other cracker? Oh, the smell is so fragrant. Mm. It's really buttery and rich. Slightly salty, even by the smell. Just a simple cracker from China, but it's really well done. The mm. texture is really crispy. And um, it has a lingering salty taste. A little bit oily, I would say. There's a oil coating my tongue. Yeah. Cheese-wise, do you taste any? A little bit. It's not overpowering. Um, you can taste a, a little salty aftertaste in your tongue. Mm. Mm, yes. Would I prefer this over Jacob's in Malaysia? <laughs> actually, I might. <laughs> like, sorry, Malaysia. <laughs> this is actually quite good. <laughs> Dessert time. Check it out. This is something I thought was really cool. I had to get it. This is Chinese pearl milk tea pudding. Mm. Look at that. This is so cute. Even the finishing is really well done. What do you think of it? Yeah. It's quite classy for a very cute dessert. I can't wait to try it. Wow. Okay. It's quite tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. but technical problem here. Okay, we finally managed to open it. It's really bad. We tore off the top. But the color is very pale, so let's see how it tastes like. Ooh, it's very fragrant too. Oh, it looks really watery. <laughs> tastes exactly like Nata di Coco. <laughs> what per milk tea? <laughs> I do not taste any. I mean, you can see, like, do you see it's really watery? Like, and the packaging is so bad. They don't want us to eat it, you know, it's so hard to open. It's really gloopy and slimy, it literally just falls mm. away. So hard to eat. I think you can tell from our facial expression when we ate this that this we, don't, we don't really like this. It's not good. It literally <laughs> tastes like nata di coco no. or lychee. It's really bad. It doesn't taste like milk tea uh, at all. I'm sorry, this is, <laughs> this is not an enjoyable dessert. Alright, for our final treat, Woo. we have gotten this cantaloupe milk candy. Isn't it so cute? Look at that little cow. And isn't it quite different, that like honeydew melon flavor? Interestingly, when I saw it, I had to try it. Wow, look at that. It's a candy shape of medicine pills. <laughs> oh man, that sounds horrible. Like, you know, it looks like pills that when you're sick or you're having a sore throat, you will sucked on this. So, okay. Let's try it out. Yeah, I got my honeydew peels. It smells really good and milky. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's not a crystallized uh, kind of peel where it's uh, shiny and glossy. It has a very powdery texture where you can bite it and um, it kind of crumbles. So it's a crumbling sweet. Honeydew flavor wise, um, it's not very strong. Mm. There's a hint of it. It's not overpowering. It's quite mild. It doesn't like you know, make you feel sick of it. But I quite like this candy, like, you can bite it, but it's not a gummy, like, don't mistake for that. Oh, okay, mm. and the more you chew it, it dissolves into like a little mush and you get stuck in my teeth. Yeah, <laughs> mine too. So now I stuck up, way up here. Mm. But flavor-wise, it's just alright. Um, I'm very curious to try the other flavors too, but this is really interesting, very mm. innovative idea. Although the packaging might be a bit wasting. Yeah. Alright guys, that's the end of our video. We had so much fun trying all of these snacks from China literally for our Chinese New Year snack review. Top favourites. Alright, it's gonna be number one, which is the first one that we tried. <laughs> <laughs> Cucumber chips literally yeah. stay cool. For me, I am obsessed with this date's milk, red date's mm. milk. It's really delicious, matches my shirt too. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I visit someone's house and uh, they offered me these two <laughs> during Chinese mm. New Year. That'd be really, really good. Alright guys, all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy Chinese New Year. Bye. Bye.